Hey guys, welcome back to Theology Thursdays, where we answer your questions about God, faith, and culture. I'm Sarah, this is Kyle, and I mean, it's it's the month of March. Yeah, we're talking about what's going on in culture yes, today. Yes, in yeah. culture in March. Guys, there's some, there some big things that happen in March that I don't know if you know. My, I feel like first thing people thought... My birthday. Like, first thing people probably <laughs> thought it was spring break, though. No, Kyle's not, birthday, Not your birthday. Sure. Spring break, that's happening. Um, my mom's birthday... Just a, probably more probably trumps your, your bir- okay, no, birthday. No, yes, you're yeah. sorry. Whatever. And then um, St. Patrick's Day is like the holiday that we like think about, but, but not don't really, really think yeah. about until it happens. It's like, ah, oh, crap! I got to wear green. You start seeing on those this like day. those clovers everywhere, and you're like, oh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day. And you Patrick's have this day. like strange, oh. strange, just like desire that comes out of nowhere to eat Lucky Charms for breakfast. L- yes. Oh my gosh. And so but those are the best. So those are good excuse. cereal. That's yeah, good. that's a good cereal so, choice. But yeah, that's really what we're talking about today, St. Patrick's Day, because I feel like there we hear a lot about it, and you're like, what is it? Yeah. Why do we do this? Because it's got we... all these traditions that are built around yeah. it. Yeah. So what are some of the traditions? We have green. Wear green. We wear green. And if or you, you p- get pinched. You pinch someone that doesn't, you know? Yeah. yeah. And as a colorblind yeah. person, that's difficult, because I'm like, I'm not sure if this is green. Sarah he... informed me that this is green. Though, yeah, he so. has a green hat on, so that's exciting. I'm solid. Yeah. So Guys. no pinching me, yeah. but mm. at least today. No, you can, though, because he, if he's not wearing green, it yep. sucks. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. like, green's a big theme. I think you Clovers, got the shamrock or the shamrock, clover. Yeah. yeah. Um, leprechauns. Leprechauns. Uh, people have this desire to drink juice. This is Juices. Thing. Yeah, a lot yeah. of drinking. A lot of, a lot of drinking. <laughs> I think we could call it drinking. Yeah, partying and drinking. drinking. That's a big part of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like that's that's it. You know, some that's people. You know, some people in Chicago, just to give, like, how big of a deal it is. In Chicago, mm-hmm. they actually dye, like, a chunk of the river green like the entire thing huh. and they have a parade around it all this stuff kind of goes into it super weird well that's so that's it oh leprechauns leprechauns God, yeah they're creepy there was a creepy movie called leprechaun about a, a leprechaun. don't watch it don't watch it it's scary don't do I've, been scary. I've never yeah, seen it, it. i don't like scary don't movies like but the no. point is yes. there's a lot of things that are built yes, around but if you if you hear the name saint patrick's day you're like saint patrick, patrick. saint patrick so probably a guy do you think he's a real person? Like Pro- probably a real person, and yep. probably has something to do with a, like our faith because he's a saint. Yeah. So we're gonna hear the story, and we're really gonna see like what's the big deal about Saint Patrick? Yeah, like, for sure. What did he do? You know, for sure. Okay. So Sorry. Saint Patrick, like he real was a guy. legitimate person, lived Le- like real, real guy. Yeah. Six hundred A.D. somewhere around that time frame, cool. and uh, mm-hmm. that's not the exact date, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, he he so. about sixteen hundred years ago, Saint Patrick was a real person that lived. Uh, and if you had to guess, Sarah, like where, if, if or maybe not you, because you know this, but yeah, if, if someone probably. was to guess where he was going to live, where would you say he probably I mean, lived? They, most people would say. Ireland because of this whole like thing, you know. Yeah, but, but Irish, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. But He's not what, from Ireland. But he has a connection with Ireland. Ireland. Yep. So what is it? So he actually grew up in Great Britain when uh, mm-hmm. Saint Patrick was 16 years old. At that time, he was just Patrick. He didn't get the saint title until much mm-hmm. later in his life. Oh Patrick, not yep. star. Oh Patrick. But not when Patrick. he was 16 years old, he was uh, kidnapped Sad. by a group of barbaric, uh, barbaric tribe from Ireland. And so he was taken away from his family. His family thought, that man, we're never seeing our son again. His dad was a priest. His uh, his grandfather was also a, a big part in the church, played a big part in the church during that time period, a long, long time ago. And so they thought, man, we're never seeing our son again. And so he was sold into slavery to some barbaric Druid tribe. In um, If you want to learn more about Druids, we can put something in uh, the description yeah, below to mm-hmm. kind of t- give you more information about them. It's not World of Warcraft. Yeah, it's not that like type of druid it it's was. uh i mean they definitely I had a they lot were of real I yeah they were real groups literally of people. only knew it's fine <laughs> yeah no it's a it's a cultic type of uh, uh environment and he was sold into slavery there and lived mm-hmm. 10 years of his life in this Dang. slavery and so he eventually escapes right he escapes from the slavery, yeah. makes it yeah, out, Patrick. which honestly would make for an epic movie. I right, think, you absolutely. Know? Sold into slavery, escapes, goes but back to England. But then what happens? This yes. is a big deal. You know, like if I, if it were me, I would I would be like, I'm staying away from Ireland yeah, for the rest of my life. Yeah, horrific period of my life. Don't want to live it again. Hmm. Yep. But instead, Patrick was... Um, experienced this just huge calling and it and not even like he comes home and immediately begins these efforts to um uh convince people in great britain to go along he convinces like a close to 10 people to go with him mm-hmm. back to ireland back to the people that captivated him or captived him or the 
it took him. Cap- what is captured? the word I'm looking for? Captured? captured. Yes. <laughs> so he wasn't captivated. Yep. That that, that captured him. That that yeah. had him had him in slavery, and he was he was uh, held against his will. Mm-hmm. And so he returns to them for one purpose. He wants to bring the gospel to these people that mm-hmm. had never heard. Right. He learned a lot about the culture. He learned a lot about the people in the 10 years that he was there. And in fact, when he was there, he began to remember his childhood faith. The the thing his parents, mm-hmm. he had kind of as a 16 year old man, he began to kind of like, man, I don't, that's not really uh, what I want to be about. But uh, when he was in Ireland in slavery, mm-hmm. he remembered the gospel. He remembered the goodness of Jesus. And so he comes back home to Great Britain, mm-hmm. gets a group of people and he heads back out there. And he begins to bring uh, the gospel to a people. And, and the gospel begins to spread all throughout this land. Mm-hmm. Like just takes off. And yeah. so uh, people are coming to know Jesus. The church is established. And, uh, and that's originally why in Ireland they recognized, they gave him the title saint, right? Because mm-hmm. he brought the church, he brought the gospel, brought the goodness of Jesus to people who were broken and considered barbaric. Like he didn't just bring civilization because these barbaric people they didn't it wasn't like a city it was like they were like tribes and villages Mm -hmm. and these kind of like broken down economies and um he brings the gospel to them and they Mm -hmm. they um they put their faith in jesus right and so it's that's why this this originally why this holiday became became a a thing thing. yeah especially in ireland because they've been celebrating it for a long time in ireland it's a day that they look to to be like man this Mm -hmm. was the moment you know in time where we We met Jesus. And so uh, that's who St. Patrick is. And so I hope for us, it can become a little bit more than just a day that you pinch your friend (laughs) if they're they're not not wearing wearing green, green, you know? And so... Which I'm like, what would, what would St. Patrick think about like... I don't... what it's become? Yeah, what it's become. Because, like, I don't even know how, how we got here. I don't, but, I don't know either. But our point and hope is, like, exactly what you're saying, like, that we would remember. Yeah. And be reminded, like, this, this is a bigger holiday, especially for us as Christians, like, yeah. to remember what St. Patrick did and be like, this is our call, yeah. too. Like, he stepped into some, he, he went to his enemies. Mm-hmm. He went to those who... Very Joseph story. Yeah, yeah, right. a Joseph story. So Joseph in the Bible sold into slavery, his brothers yeah. and that. And, and he had this perspective where he's like, man, God works all things together for good. These mm-hmm. people might have meant this for evil. Mm-hmm. But God meant it for good. Like I got to bring salvation to these people, and that's St. Patrick's story, man. He, yeah. God meant, uh, God used this horrific event in his life mm-hmm. to bring the salvation of a group of people, which is just an incredible thing to say about. And I think, I think we get to kind of live into some of that and remember that, man. Like we know people, we have friends mm-hmm. who don't know Jesus, and we get to step into those conversations, those relationships, understanding that our, we believe in a sovereign God yeah. who orchestrates even the people that we know as a point to bring the gospel to them. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's a pretty incredible thing. And I hope you remember that March 17th when St. Yep. Patrick's Day is like going full swing, that you remember its roots. And I think it's a cool story to share with people too when that day comes. Because like the first time I heard it, I was like, and what are we doing? Yeah. Like, you know? This is a I mean, you can still have fun and enjoy, you know, the festivities, festivities but yeah. we can also be reminded of the truth and let that drive us to to tell others about Jesus. For so, sure. Good opportunity. Absolutely. Cool. Well, guys, thank you all so much for joining us. I hope this just really just a fun it's a fun fact that i think is really um encouraging for us so guys thank y'all so much i hope you have um great time we'll see you next week see ya